Okay, I'm going to give the X-1 spaceship a try again. Last night when I first test flew it, I didn't read the manual. And it uh, says when you first battery it up and the light flashes really fast for 10 seconds, you got to quickly put it on level ground. And after the rapid flash is when you turn the controller on. Because it's got a gyro that senses if it's level or not. So that might have been why I wanted to forward drift. The other thing I'm not crazy about on this one is the way the stupid battery goes in. It kind of goes in at a weird angle like this and you got to like line up the plug and plug it together. But alright, I'm going to get her booted up and uh, we'll see if we can set the camera up and see if we can check some flight characteristics, see if it flies any better or if it still wants to go forward. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, so I got her all powered up. Let me walk in front of the camera here a little bit. See if I can fly and not crash. Oh yeah, it does seem to be a little more stable, not quite forward drifting as much now. Now I might be back drifting. Am I in high or am I in low? I am in high mode. Pretty snappy on the spin around. Whoa. Good rudder response. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm going to trim it just a little bit. I'm trying to stay in the camera, I'm probably flying totally out of the camera. Oh my god. This thing comes around pretty responsively. You got a little left drift. Scout Zoe, I'll get you. Just so I can set her down, what do we can adjust these trims? Straight. And I'm going to power up slowly and see which way it wants to drift. I think it came up pretty straight. Yeah, a little bit forward, maybe. A little bit left. It came up pretty straight, actually. I'm going to get a little blade wash off the table. No, I'm not going to try any flips in the house. Just kind of a little. But yeah, I think not having it level when I first powered it. See, I was wanting to drift that way. Who likes to drift? I'm gonna get her to hover. Hover, hover! Should be getting blade washed off all the furniture though. Possible. Pretty responsive. Not bad, still a little drippy, a little more drippy than I like, but could be because I'm indoors. I can feel a lot of wind draft. I think it creates a lot of a blade wash. Whoa, I damn near hit the ceiling. And bring it in, we'll stop the video. Nice landing. Oh, almost knocked the camera over.